Hello there, my hearties and dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, of course, and the world's top broadcaster. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, it's Wednesday evening, it's the late night pop up. So a lot of you will be getting ready for your beds, or you'll be watching a wee bit of late night telly, or you'll be um, perhaps some of you are politically minded, and you're having a look at the conferences, that sort of thing. Who knows what you're doing, but I'm sure you'll be doing something interesting. But welcome, 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 of course, to our Wednesday evening pop-up. Now, how are things with you? A lot happening out there, and quite a lot happening out in the old public scene there. I don't know if you get bored by the politics or if you enjoy the politics. Very, very interesting what's going on at the moment, and also trying to second-guess what's going on at the moment. Hi, Scotty, good to See you, says Andy Beatty. Absolutely. And uh, some wonderful people watching. Good evening, Jane. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Dinky do. It's pop up time, says Mark Andrews. It is indeed, Mark. Of course, Wednesday evening, nothing gets past me, you know. I pick all that up and I thought, I need to speak to not just one nation, but all nations. Good evening, Scotty. And Dinky do, says Andy McCrory. Uh, Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Williams, how are you? And a very warm welcome from Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Now tonight, guys, we'll do quite a bit of sharing, if you don't mind, and just let everybody know what's happening from the off. Gavin Walker, Dinky Doo, a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's late night pop-up live on Facebook Live, perhaps one of the finest broadcast platforms you can get. Independence, Scotty, says George Roper. Independence what from the missus good evening scotty says gavin good evening says janet mcpherson and a very good evening to every single one of you lovely to have you with us and of course if we can um, get going here and let everybody know what's happening with the sharing i've got a couple of devices here so i could do a bit of sharing a lot of it's up to you raymond benson says hello there's june porteous hi it's we june here i hope you're well hello june i hope you're well my darling and you're enjoying the Scotty McClue pop-ups just for you, Dinky Doo. Have we got the lighting right tonight? It's been a bit dark recently, and I wanted to ensure we'd got it right. Am I better in blue, or am I better in that one? <laughs> it's always a good thing. There we are. What about that? No? Or that one. There we are. That looks better. Uh, Independence for Ock and Lake from Cumnock, says Ali Yogi. Right, so Cumnock and Ock and Lake are wanting to separate Stuart Holt and Dinky Doo, that's a very Scottish thing, you know. When you get places and they go, no, he's no free here, he's free. That place that I don't talk about down the road. Scotty, excellent to see that sense has prevailed. I'm looking forward to hearing you back at the wireless. FTP, how fantastic to have you with us, Frank Dippolet, an absolute top man. A man who's been very straight and very supportive over the last 30 years. Tremendous stuff, FTP. Good for you. Stuart McKenna, Dinky Doo, Paul McCulley. Give a shout out to my mother-in-law, Scotty. Sandra Coulter. Is it Coulter or Cooter? Right? I'm never too sure. Some people like to pronounce it in different ways. But if you can all tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. I'm just going to um, pop onto this one here. And uh, we'll do a little bit of sharing. Sorry for spraying that. Michael Purcell's watching Dinky Do. The light will not help unless you turn it off, says Gordon Riley. Gordon Riley, what a thoughtless thing to say to a fellow human being. I know you're only teasing, lad. Don't panic. Don't go into a paroxysm of panic. So there we are. But, you know, it's funny when people do that. They go, let's have a go at putting this person down. Obviously, I don't mind because it's Scotty McClue. But, you know, it's interesting just the way people think that way about putting other people down. I hey, have a great face for radio. All that sort of stuff. Why say that to somebody? I suppose it's a, 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 an attempt at light-heartedness, isn't it, by some people, to put them down. Lana Mickle, dinky-doo, lovely to see you. John Patterson, dinky-doo, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on on your Facebook Live, then you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. Uh, hello, sir, says Joseph Gibbons. Hello to you, Joseph Gibbons. Lovely to have you with us. Sammy 
Stewart, a very warm welcome to you as well. I think some people watching are realising that this is very, very big, that you and I are very important people. And that's why we chit-chat on Facebook Live big style. Excellent stuff. Thank you also for all your support. Sunday night, a good few thousand of you watching there. Better than the week before when you were watching the final of Bodyguard, a lot of you, not all of you, not all of you, but some of you um, had to face up that you were watching Bodyguard. And I don't blame you. I mean, the finale of a big BBC drama like that, I quite understand that you might have a wee swatch at that rather than watching Scotty McClue, but that's as far as it goes. Good evening, Scotty. Great to see you tonight, says the wonderful Paul Crookshanks. Paul Crookshanks, you're another one that needs to be seriously thanked for all your wonderful support over the years. Things that supposedly professional managers could not see, and you could see it. That's the amazing thing. Neil O'Gormley, dinky do. You're as bright as a 28 watt bulb, says Gordon Riley. Absolutely, yes, and that's 18 lumens. Hey, Scotty Hun, how are you, says Ashley Alexander. Dinky do. Gordon, if you want to test out my IQ, you press on, dear. Alan Humphreys, dinky do. <coughs> Stephen McFarlane, you're watching, but you might as well come on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Shujat Ali is watching. Hello, Shujat. Lovely to have you with us as well. Dinky do. A great broadcaster and big business person there. Wonderful fellow. Right, a bit of banter. Absolutely, Gordon. A bit of banter. So there you are. Gordon still is watching, talking of banter. So there you are. I hope that you've got Agnes polishing up the springs for the next Gardner overhaul, Gordon Sterling. Did you know that Lawrence Gardner just had L. Gardner Machinist on his workshop? Missed you when in hospital, but I'm home now after a big op, says Catherine Murray. You be careful, Catherine Murray. You know, I've had a couple of big hops, but I've never had a big op touch wood. But uh, I hope you are strong and well. Uh, do you remember the late, great Phil Easton? Do you know Joseph Gibbons very, very well? What a lovely, lovely guy. And I was on, Phil interviewed me. He did the breakfast on City Talk in Liverpool. And listen to me, City Talk. And uh, that was Phil Easton. Wonderful guy, great radio man. So there we are. Bless him, I say. Died far too young. Taken from us. How are you, Scotty? Excellent. Dinky do. Who's that? John Warrender. How's the radio station going? Superb. Awesome. Says so Shudat Ali. Yes, you are awesome, sir. I salute you. Keep it up, Scotty. Absolutely. George Hepburn. Safa MacDonald Thomas. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well. I am Sapphire. And of course, Andrew McGregor's here with the news. 96.3 Nation Radio Scotland. Sounding great, Scotty. I've put it up. Can you see that, guys? Let me know if you can see it on the title to this video that's just popped up. It should be there. Stuart Main's watching. This is the news, guys. If any of you have missed it, Scotty McClure is back on the airwaves big style on perhaps the biggest radio station to hit the airwaves in 20 years. Absolutely amazing stuff. So there you are. Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM if you're in central Scotland. If you're out with Scotland, then of course you'll get it on www.nationradio.scot. So there we are. Uh, who have we got here? And his knowledge of music was beyond amazing. Uh, the late, great Phil Easton, it was indeed Joseph Gibbons. I mean, they had such fantastic DJs down on Radio City. I mean, really, really wonderful guys. Remember, um, you had uh, Billy and Wally. Billy and Wally, fantastic. The wonderful Kev Seed, Tony McKenzie. Um, who else did we have? Um, Big John as well. He was fantastic. All these wonderful people. I could go on for hours about the quality of the broadcasters on Radio City. Tremendous. Um, it was indeed. Whose bunions are killing her? God stilling. Agnes sends her love. Her bunions are killing her. So no cuddle tonight. No cuddle for me or for you. So there you are. You should look after her bunions. Put a wee bit salve on them.
Uh, Jav Salim, good evening, good evening, Jav and Dinky Do. Uh, Gordon Riley there, what have we got there? What did you make of the PM dancing to ABBA? And she expects Europe to take her seriously, says Gordon Riley. Well, she could have come on to tragedy. So there we are, and she didn't. So I thought that was rather good. I'm the one that told you the bank joke. I worked with Pete Waterman, and he said you would be back. Wonderful. Louis Hurst, Stinky Doo. Good evening, Scotty. Steve Burrows, Pete Waterman. Wonderful man. Neil Tipping is watching down there in the northwest. Fantastic guy. One of the best wizards of the big switchboard you could ask for. And not only that, a superb mechanic. Always useful, isn't it? A superb mechanic. And Neil Tipping and I spent millennium together. We put three huge radio stations together and did Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash right across Yorkshire, the Midlands, the Northeast, the whole of Lancashire, the Northwest. Tremendous stuff. It went out to Wales and to Northern Ireland and, oh, that, you know, broadcasting. Fantastic, fantastic. And of course, this goes out around the world. Lols has gone really, I know, absolutely tragedy. <laughs> Could you imagine that? That would have caused a stooshy, I think, to be honest. Hello, Frey Cumberald. Dinky Doo, says John McLeish from Cumberald. Andy Hughes, good evening, Scotty. A shout out to the Uproar Scotland Posse. Absolutely. Kelvin Allen. Now, it's interesting. Facebook seemed to have made this a lot more Scotocentric. Have you noticed that when we started? With a lot of people from Australia, from New Zealand, South America, um, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Canada, the United States, all that sort of thing. So if anybody's watching in Canada or the United States, do let us know you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Now, it's time for a share. Have you been doing sharing? That's what I ask you. I suspect you haven't. You've got engrossed in the program and you've thought, oh, we're not bother. We're not bother sharing. I'm sorry about me having a wee kick round the corner here. Um, share it to... Um, the page. There we are. Excellent stuff. So we'll share to our page and we'll just put live now. Is that okay with you guys? Live now. Um, I have to type it old fashioned, isn't it? Typing. This is why I need to be doing a talk show. And I'll explain myself to you. Shall I? We'll go over the top and put in an exclamation mark. Live now, exclamation. Shall we exclaim it? There we are. And uh, who are we sharing it with? This lot here. Scotty McClure's lot. So we'll just put that up there. There we go. Excellent stuff. Um, no, I, um, you know, loved when all the internet stuff started. I thought, this is wonderful. Electric bike arrived today, says Sammy Stewart. Brilliant, Sammy. Hello, Scotty, says Stephen Connolly. Shared, 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 says the wonderful Andy Hughes. Excellent stuff, Andy. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got here? This is telling me I've not got a lot of battery remaining. This is what you get all the time, isn't it? When, uh, when you're very, very busy. So, when the internet came in and we'd all that shared gold star for me, says Laura Westwater, absolutely. The wonderful Andy Hughes, as I say, has shared it as well. I mean, notice I've changed my profile picture. We've got the big red jumper to match Nation Radio. Uh, you're getting stickers made. I could put one in my car window, Scotty. Say hello to Maggie. My wife, Scotty, so Steve Burrows, Maggie Burrows, Dinky Doo, I see, from Steve there. Wonderful. Right, let me just get this shared, and then we are away. Fantastic. Tap, tap, and it will say share to groups. You mustn't share to too many groups at the one time. So can you say hello? Uh, Derek Ray is watching, Dinky Doo. Thank you for all your confidence, Derek, very much. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out to my better half, Kerry Duncan. Says Paul McCulley, of course, Paul, no problem at all. Right, here's the share coming up. This is amazing. Share to a group. There we go. And uh, what are we doing? Uh, we'll put a live now. Tap, tap. Live now. Just be with you in a second, guys. Do not dash off. The big man is going nowhere. Although you guys will need to get your bobos and all that, because I know a lot of you are early bedders. Uh, so we'll go into that group, and we'll go into uh, that group, and we'll go into that group, and uh, one more, 
think we can risk one more, can't we? Uh, without getting too banned. One in there. Excellent stuff. And um, what about one there? There we are. And one there. Right, that's that. Right, that's all shared. So that will let the people know that we're live now and they can come and join us. Now, did I miss some of you there? Let me run back. Scotty, can I have a goodie bag, says Ashley Alexander. Yes, once we get all that sorted, Nation Radio is massive. Scotty, what do you think the two cup games should have been played between Aberdeen Celtic Rangers hearts? What do you think? Well, Stuart Campbell, you know I don't really comment on football. Dinky Doos, says Ryan David Scott. Can I get a shout out to my best pal, Scotty Sinclair? He's beautiful, magical, and fast as lightning, says Sean McWilliam. We like that, Sean. Um, I'm on holiday all week, Scotty. You can be live all night. Says Andy Hughes. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate you, Dick. You do. Looking forward to Friday's show big time. What's the deal with fry ups? You can't ban them, says Paul McCulley. We will see what we can do. We can do anything because we are Nation Radio and you are on the phone in. And you need to phone in this week, right? I don't want any of you going, oh, I, was, I wasn't too sure about phoning Scotty. Just like phoning your missus. Do you know what I mean? Uh, afternoon, Scotty. This is Jonathan Scott Donegan. Well, not quite your missus, but you know what I'm saying to you. Love the shows on the Mighty Nation Radio last Friday and Saturday, says Neil O'Gormley. Disappointed there are no numpties phoned in. Neil, there were a few numpties phoned in. They just didn't make it to air. So there you are. So do not think there is a death of numpties on Scotty McClue's phone in. Absolutely not. Uh, too much like hard work. Was it no easy in the old days just to tell 10 to tell 10? Says Gordon Riley. Yes, it was, Gordon. But the thing is, I'm surprised at you, Gordon Riley, thinking clicking share is hard work. I would like you to discuss that with a retired miner. So there you are, or with the uh, the uh, sergeant of the Black Watch or something and say, listen, this is kind of hard work, this sharing on the internet, you know. Do you still think you'll ever get any of the still game cast on your radio show, Scotty? Ashley Alexander, I am delighted to say I'm quite sure they would come on if you look. Scotty McClude does a lot of interviews, and if you go on to YouTube, there are 500 videos sitting on YouTube. Now, if every single one of you goes and subscribes, then, uh, you know, because it'd be lovely. You're a subscriber to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. And uh, get that on youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. So there you are. Cabbage Guy was a numpty on Saturday. He was. Clicking share is spreading the love, says Andy Hughes. Of course it is. McClue does a lot of sharing. Do you think, Scotty, the cup games, why don't we have a vote? Um, right, and whatever happens, give 20% to cancer. Well, Stuart, it's not a bad thought. You can't knock that. Excuse me a wee second. We comfort break here. <laughs> Just give myself a mop doom. The studio is roasting tonight. Absolutely roasting. Uh, so there you go. Carmen McCusker, Dinky Doo, watching Scotty McClue, and we're live with the Wednesday evening Pop up just for you. Uh, get telling 10 to tell 10, folks. One more share going out here. In fact, oh, I haven't told you what I haven't shared to. I haven't shared to the actual people themselves sitting there. There we go. Share. That's it. Shared. Wonderful. Uh, give all to charity. Uh, this is Andy Hughes. Yes, never mind. 20%. Although you do know that when you are giving something to charity, only a percentage actually reaches the target. Oh. oh, that's lush. Sharon is Karen. It certainly is Sammy Stewart. Wonderful stuff. Now, guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's top phone-in presenter. I present now Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM. It's on right now. I've got it here. I can't put it up, of course, because we're on Facebook and the music would be copyright. But um, it's there, 96.3. You could tune in now. It's live. It launched uh, officially on Monday. It's been testing uh, for the last month or two. So there we go. Excellent stuff. And a wonderful, wonderful sound. You'll never want to tune to anything else. But on a Friday night at 10 o'clock sharp in the evening 
on a Saturday night and a Sunday night, I pop up with two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for a grateful nation. Shout out for all the people of Lark Hall, South Lanarkshire, please. Scotty, I know Lark Hall, a fine part of the world. I got nations saved on my car radio, says Andy Hughes. Andy, the music, you must agree with me, the music is outstanding because it's professionals programming it. Top professionals that really know their stuff. It's wonderful. That was Jim Scotty, says Adam M. Fuller. <laughs> Listen, Adam M. Fuller, if that was Jim, I'd be giving it that by now. <laughs> how, how are you all? <laughs> all that stuff. Nationradio.scot, listen online, people. <coughs> Ryan David Scott, you're absolutely right. If you uh, can't get the radio station because you're out with 96.3, and it's a very, very big area, then uh, nationradio.scot, uh, you'll get that. Or, I love old school music, says Andy Hughes. Absolutely, Andy. What's in Lark Hall, says Gordon Riley. A lark and a hall. So there you go. You'll get a good lark. Fantastic. Uh, Tracy Ann McCann, lol. Thank you, do, Tracy Ann. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Oh, now, I've had a lot of inquiries. What's happening on a Sunday night because I'm working on the radio at 10 o'clock? When do I normally come and see you? 9 o'clock. So, I'll come and see you at nine o'clock, but we may have to curtail the program a tiny bit just so I can get set up for the radio station. All right. Is that what you mopeded off your head? Says Gordon Riley. Gordon Riley, you are a shocker. Uh, Scotty, says Paul McCulley. It was nice to talk to you Friday night, big man. I'm telling people to call you. It's not as scary as some folk think. Paul McCulley, it's not scary at all. That's the whole thing. You're fine with me. I'm fine with you. That's the rules. It's no problem. Somebody starts chicken up, then we start chicken up. You know, it's uh, that's part of it. That's what the game's about. But Scotland has been very, 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 very much missing its phone-in program. Scotty McClure's Nightline. So there we are. The highest audience of any radio program, not just in Scotland. Very, very interesting. I looked up London stations when we were doing the Nightline the last time. They didn't have as big an audience as Scotty McClue. So there you go. And you present from your house, Scotty, on the radio. Well, nowadays you can do all sorts of things. A uh, lot of Westwater, big, big debate that I'm hoping we can finally sort out. Is it a house coat or a dressing gown? Uh, a topic for Friday. We can slip that in. On Friday evening, I'll tell you, we'll do that. Uh, so there we are. Caleb Nicholson, think you do? Uh, Aguni, Laura. Go on yourself, Scotty, you demand, says John Tate. Uh, I've been on a couple of times speaking to you, Scotty, and radio in the past. You've got a good heart. Well, I mean, for decent folk, Andy, you know, we like to look after people. And I think that's what it's about. There's a massive, massive shortage of somebody for people to talk to. You know, and I would like to think that Scotty McClure can fill that void with alacrity. Uh, where did you get that accent, says John Walker? I get it. It's a Scottish accent, John Walker. You're a legend, says Gordon Riley. So are you, Gordon Riley. Um, and your, and your, uh, your old mother, Riley. I remember her as well. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. John, only banter, banter, Gordon. There we are. So uh, what are you on about? Scotty, think Nation Radio. Let's get a vote for everyone that attends the two cup games. Get the team from Nation Radio. Donate to cancer. I think it will be good for football and radio. Fantastic stuff. Dressing gown, says Steve Burrows. Ye keep us educated, says Sammy Stewart. I do my best, Sammy Stewart. That's what it's about, I'll tell you. 
Uh, Scotty Nita mentioned, first time listening, superb. Keep up the good work, says Lisa Flynn. Lisa Flynn, welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll always get a mention on Scotty McClure. Uh, we June here, you make my night. We June Porteous. Mwah! To you, June. That's what you are. Great lady, we Junie. Uh, so I mentioned, so there you are, Lisa Flynn. You've had a mention. Big style. That's what it's all about. Right, come on, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Time for another share. Who are we sharing with this time? So there we are. Watch Trouble at the Top on YouTube last night, Scotty. Let's hope Nation is a good start. Jonathan Welch, Trouble at the Top was made 20 years ago by the BBC, and um, it was all about launching Century 105 in the northwest of England. What a fantastic time we had doing that. The manager was, uh, was a big chum of mine, big John Myers, and uh, you'll see him on that. And uh, Derek Hatton, Another terrific character. You'll see him on that. Derek Hatton from Liverpool. Wonderful stuff. And you'll see Scotty McClure watching from West Australia from Rockingham. John Walker, dinky do, that's wonderful. What a great name you've got. I've got Walkers in my family. Kerry Duncan says, Hi, Scotty, I've just joined. Thanks for saying about Lark Hall. It's a good part of the world. My hometown. It was fabulous to talk to you on Friday. Kerry, Lark Hall's a great wee tune. Lovely part of the world. The only thing is, it's the longest town. You can be driving for maybe six months and say, are we still in Lark Hall? Aye, Main Street. That's you in Main Street now, Scott. Yes. <laughs> no, is that a, it's a lang tune. They used to call, was it Kirkcaldy, the lang tune? Cheer, 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 says Andy Hughes. Watching from West Australia, from Rockingham. Excellent. Now, I wonder where Rockingham got his name, because there was a Lord Rockingham, Marquis of Rockingham stayed in a massive, massive house in Yorkshire called Wentworth Woodhouse. And you can still see Wentworth Woodhouse. Wentworth Woodhouse. It was the home of the Fitzwilliams. And it's a very, very interesting part of history. So there you are. And um, one of the Fitzwilliams uh, was uh, very friendly with um, the sister of President Kennedy, and they were killed in a plane crash together, going to the south of France. Shocking. It was tragic. 1948. So there you are. Uh, Graham Michie. Thank you, do. Margaret Ann Cassley. Thank you, do. A very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop-up. Just for you, dinky do. Martin Maguire says hi. Hi, Martin Maguire. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. I have to say I really enjoyed your radio show. I'm looking forward to the weekend again, says Karen Mercury. And Karen, do you know when one guy came on, he went, it's a bit different from your old shows. And I had to tell him, bills and idiots must not see a job half done. Or in this case, listen to a job half done. The show is four hours old. Do you know what I mean, imagine moaning when you've got something like that back. These are the kind of people that will always just moan. If you gave them a million pounds, they go, what do you expect me to do with this? I don't know what, do. I've never had a million pounds. That's of nonsense, do you know what I mean? Uh, Dave Harley, Dinky, do. Ashley Alexander, a lovely heart of the kiss. Mwah! Lovely to see you. Thank you. Old Mara Riley, you leave her out of this. Next, you'll be talking about the lady's donkey. No, it was Delaney's donkey. Now Delaney had the donkey that everyone admired. And um, how do you know where Busby is? Says Amanda D Jean Doricott. Busby is a, the next wee town to Clarkston. So there you are, wee village. Busby, lovely, lovely wee village. And it's near to Clarkston. So they are on the south side of Glasgow. Am I right or am I 100% correct? They are, yep, Scotty. They won't declare it a town as it's listed as the largest village in Scotland. What's that, Lark Hall? <coughs> My goodness me. You know, you can be travelling there for still in Lark Hall. That's it. it's not, you're not out of Lark Hall till you get to Carlisle. 
Uh, I've been on Nation for the past nine days. I'll tell you, Scotty, it's great music and great people. I think they should have a cash call in, like guess the name and program. Stuart Campbell, I have no doubt that will all come. Early days, listening in from Shots, by the way, says Andy Hughes. A very nice part of the world, Shots. So there we are, very important part of the world. People miss that, very pivotal. Always somebody, Scotty, never happy unless they're moaning. Karen Mercury, you're 100% Correct. You know, I had them all moaning today about the um, £2 million security for the next royal wedding. I said, it's thruppins each, you know, and they'll be bringing a fortune. Questions, mister, says Gordon Riley. Info. What do you know about the Lake of Monteith? And how is it the only lake in Scotland? Fantastic. The Lake of Monteith. And there's an island in the middle of it. There's a priory at the Lake of Monteith. And there's an old dame school out called Dyke Head. So there you are, you see. I am not just a pretty face. And I think if I remember right, tell me if I've got this right, buried on the island in the Lake of Monteith is the wonderful man that started, one of the ones that started the Scottish National Party, right? And he was called, him and the Duke of Montrose, at the time, who lived out there, and he was called Robert Boynton Cunningham Graham. There you are. Very, very big in South America. R.B. Cunningham Graham um, of uh, of Gart, uh, now what was it, Gart Moore House. There we are, the Cunningham Grahams. There you are. You look all that up in your Lake of Monteith. Yes, Scotty, they won't declare it a town. We read that bit out for you. Hearty congrats, uh, says Frank de Palette, FTP. I thank you very much. Wow, I'm glad somebody knows where Busby is. Oh, Amanda. Amanda, everybody will know Busby. The D. Delaney's donkey ran the half-mile race. The D. Delaney's donkey ran the half-mile race. Tell me who used to sing Delaney's donkey. Val Dunican. Who remembers Val Dunican? Lovely, lovely man. Great folk singer. You pass the test. You know your stuff. See how you go with the lake one, says Gordon Riley. Well, Gordon Riley, feel free to unburden yourself because we're broadcasting live right now, not just to one nation, but to several nations. Busby's down the road, says John Finnegan. Yes, John Finnegan, Busby is down the road. You're quite right. Andy Hughes, I grew up in East Kilbride. Now I stay in shots. Now, <clears throat> why shots is very, very important. Scotty McClure, right, judges the nation by transmitters, being a radio and television man. And if you're traveling along the M8, particularly at night, because you can't take your eyes off the road, but you'll see two very big tall masts. And these two tall masts will be lit with red lights so that low-flying aircraft can see them because they're huge. And they're transmitters for television and radio. And one of them is called Black Hill. That was the transmitter uh, for Scottish television for central Scotland. Fantastic. And the other was called Kirkus Shots. That was the transmitter for the BBC. I don't know if you've heard of a program called Songs of Praise, right? And Songs of Praise was a very, very important program when it came out because the nation were big worshippers, right? And they used to go to church and everything. The Songs of Praise were huge. And Songs of Praise, it was a guy called Dr. Ronnie Faulkner, Ronald Faulkner. And Ronnie was a tremendous man. He was the head of religious broadcasting for the BBC. He'd been a minister. And the BBC in Scotland were very big on ministers, you know. They had um, one of their first programmers was uh, Melville Dinwiddie. And he was a minister. He'd been the minister of, I think it was St. Machers in Aberdeen. And uh, Ronnie Faulkner made sure that songs of praise traveled around and came from different churches and schools and things like that in the early 60s. 
And the first songs of praise came from the little church you'll see on the hillside by the side of the motorway. Don't take your eyes off the road to see it, though. Right? Let somebody describe it to you. Always drive safely. And that is the Kirk of Shots. The Kirk of Shots. They were right out in the countryside there. And that's beside the transmitter, and that's where they did the first songs of praise. What about that for a wee bit of information, education, and entertainment? There you go. Excellent stuff. So you grew up in East School Bride. Nothing wrong with that. Are you the Scotty McClue from years ago, says Ross Sinclair? I don't know what you mean by that. There is only one Scotty McClue. Carol Carlos Donnelly, hi. Uh, Lark Halls are midden, says Kevin Stars. Kevin. That is a shocking thing to say. How would you like if somebody described where you live as a midden? So there you are. Tot, 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 tot. And Kevin would like to apologize to the Lark Hollians, the Larks and the people in the hall. Used to listen to you years ago. Single mothers with a fluffy slippers on, says Sharon Campbell. So they were, Sharon, living in the lap of luxury in those days. I think it's a bit tougher for the single mothers now, right enough. Ooh. Especially since the government cut back all their money. Uh, so there we are. I stay in Duke Head in shots, says Andy Hughes. Very nice Duke Head. Yes, tremendous stuff. Right out there, you've got the hills and the moors behind you. I'll tell you, shots used to be very big for the Highland Games. I can remember getting my hand stamped with the uh, entrance to go into the shots Highland Games. What about that? My father was a bagpiper and he used to play in the bands. Uh, what's a thruppence, says Kerry Duncan. A thruppence was three old pennies. So there you go. So you're looking at about one and a half P, I would think now. Something like that, a thruppence. But there was a thruppany bit and it had thrift on the back of it, a little brass coin. I had one, but sadly somebody broke into my house years ago and took my coin collection that I'd gathered together as a wee one. Imagine taking a wee one's coin collection. So that was that, and I had thrapney bits in it, and a shilling and sixpence. Neil Timming, Scotty, will we be having the nights out with the new radio station like we did in Century? I know, Neil, what a fantastic time, but you and I had to leave the nights out early because we had to go on air. Yes, remember that. Wonderful. And uh, Neil, you're a tremendous support on and off air. So all I can say to you is dinky do love. Absolutely. Not trying to be noise, but many CDs on the background. I have records that have white labels. Now, these were my collections for putting together the Clyde Cayley and things like that. Remember, I used to do the Clyde Cayley on a Saturday evening between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Scott, uh, did you not get sacked for saying something about the Queen? No, Shannon Campbell. I actually never got sacked at all. There was something very strange happened. There was nothing I said or did, right? I can assure you that 100% right hand up to the big man. Nothing I said or did on air resulted in me leaving the station. I can tell you that right now. So there you go. There was something else. You see, Scotty McClure's audience was so big that it was actually skewing the market towards the newcomer station. Isn't that interesting? Whoever has McClue has the market, is the big saying. So there you go. It's wonderful. So let's hope it still proves true and that Nation Radio have the market. Excellent. A wonderful radio station. So no, Sharon, there was never, ever, ever anything like that. So there you go, madame. Uh, I thought the show was great myself. Uh, every job always gets better with a good man at the head, says Dave Harley. Thank you very much, Dave Harley. But of course, this week... The big bosses got in touch and said, we want you to do a clue, a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday. Now get on with it. So that was it. So I thought, right, I'm up for that. Big style. Wonderful. They, and it's a fabulous radio station, guys. I am very, very excited about being back on the airwaves in this particular radio station because they are very, very switched on people. So there we go. And uh, you're good. But why is it a leak, says 
Mrs. Gordon Riley. Well, you can tell us, Gordon Riley. So there we are. It's not a loch. Is it something to do with how it's fed? Right? Is it to do with how it's fed? Is it not fed by other rivers? Is it purely rainwater? Something like that. Do spill. Come on. Come and spill, I say. Uh, Scotty, have you been to Lark Hall? Kerry Duncan. I know Lark Hall like the back of my hand. Who's the back of my hand? Oh, yes. Um, so there are no, I know Lark Hall very, very well indeed, yes. And the people of Lark Hall know Scotty McClure. So there you go. Wonderful. So have I been to Lark Hall? You know, that's like asking His Holiness the Pope if he'd visited Vatican City. You know, so there you go. Uh, yes, yes is the answer. Hi, Scotty. What feedback have you had from the big wigs at 96.3 Nation Radio? Says Phil Syme. Good question, Phil. Well, I have to say, right, I haven't had a lot of feedback, but I have had a call inviting me to do another night. Now, does that not tell its own story? Hmm. So that's it. So I haven't had a lot of feedback. I've just had, uh, we'd like you to do another night, McLuhan. So there you are. So I said, yes, yes, absolutely, sir. Yes, yes, indeed. So there you go. Um, is it too early to know if, is it the heart of Scotland? Says Andy here. What? Nation Radio? Yes. Uh, Black Hill Transmitter? Well, Black Hill Transmitter, of course, is very, very high. If you're taking a walk um, up above the city of Glasgow, you, you can see um, Black Hill Transmitter. And I don't know, but I, I wonder if you can see it from somewhere in Edinburgh. I don't know. Could you see it from Arthur's seat? I don't know. Because line of sight is how FM radio works, but it's not actually being able to see it. It's in your line of sight, you know, and the power. So there we are. But Black Hill has brought us STV for, let me see, um, STV has been on for 60 one years. 61 years. And we have a gentleman watches my program, and I think he was, if not the first announcer, one of the very early announcers on STV. Wonderful man, super broadcaster. And then he went behind the scenes and took over controlling the transmission. Excuse me a second. You see... The way ITV used to work, ITV is a situation that's kind of bought up all their own contractors. But the way ITV used to work, there were 15 separate companies made up ITV. Can you name them all? In the north of Scotland, you had Grampian Television, which went on air about, it was 1960, right? 1960 or 1961. And then in central Scotland, you had Scottish Television which went on here in 1957. And then you had, um, down in Carlisle, Border Television, which covered that bit right over, went on here in 1961. And then you had, um, and I've worked for all these companies. Very interesting. Worked for Grampian, worked for Scottish Television, worked for Border Television. Then you had Time Tees based in Newcastle. Yes, I've done stuff on Time Tees, and uh, that went down to Teesside. And then uh, you had Yorkshire took over on the East Coast, and Granada took over on the West Coast. Granada based in Manchester along the road from where I used to stay. One of us used to pass Granada every day. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. Karen says, I used to work in shots. It snows in July. I know. I think it won't be long till, you know, all of nation stations proved a lot of people wrong. Can you give us a smug grin? So Jonathan Welsh. Jonathan Welsh, you know me. I am always magnanimous in victory. Magnanimity in victory is very, very important right? It only took one really switched on programmer to say Scotty McClure is the man for you. And of course, you and I, the audience, have always known that Scotty McClure should never ever have not been on the airwaves. Because somebody once said that the late Lou Grade, who ran ATV, another ITV company, and brought us brilliant programs like The Saint, 
The Baron, uh, Thunderbirds, Fireball XL5, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons, Stingray, all these things, the Muppets, wonderful, wonderful man. Somebody said if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our televisions. So there you are. Now, would I be the kind of person to give a smug grin? No, 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 not for you, not my kind of thing. So there you are. Uh, so that's that. Uh, your face looks like a transmitter radio light, says Ross Sinclair. Absolutely. I, it comes on when I'm broadcasting. That's it. That's when I start speaking. When my face goes red, I start speaking. Can you see when I do that? Very interesting. The light gets brighter. It reflects. Wonderful. That's why you have all these big, in the photographer's studio, these big white umbrellas and stuff like that to get the light reflecting. Wonderful. There we go. Shall we have some more light this way? How's that? Or is that too bright? Is that too much? Uh, so there you go. And uh, I won't tell you what your face looks like. What's your favourite song, Scotty? This is Ashley Alexander. Ashley Alexander, I have so many favourite songs. So there you go. It's wonderful. And the uh, ABBA is one of my favourite ones today. Although I'll have to sort of have a think about Dancing Queen from now on. You know what I mean? Uh, so there we go. Songs of Praise, Scotty. What's your favourite hymn? Oh, my goodness. Right. Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Ye servants of God, your master proclaim. Praise my soul, the king of heaven. The Lord's my shepherd. Um, what else have we got? Um, Glasgow, behold the mountain of the Lord in latter day did rise. That's also much a hymn, that's a paraphrase, but to the tune Glasgow. Da dee 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 dee. You know, all these sort of things. Wonderful stuff. So there you are. You'll see me. Have I got the pipe organ? Uh, in some of the uh, Facebook posts. Uh, I watched that with my parents years ago on a Sunday, says Andy Hughes. Absolutely now, you'll see a young Scotty McClure on Songs of Praise. And it was presented very often by a, a young Scottish minister called Murdoch McPherson. Murdoch's no longer with us, sadly. Lovely man. And Murdoch McPherson used to be on the BBC on Radio Scotland in the mornings, the Reverend Murdoch McPherson. They are wonderful. And he was around in the department with Ronnie Faulkner and uh, who else did we have? Ralph Smith, the Reverend Ralph Smith, who I think went to New Kilpatrick Church in Bears Den in Scotland. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. So that's that. We tune. Lovely. Used to love songs of praise. Absolutely. The big crowd pullers, the big singers, you know, Daddy, to God be the glory. And can you think of the names of tunes, you know, uh, Regent Square, <laughs> that sort of thing. And uh, what else have we got? Um, was it Soul of My Saviour? There's a beauty. Uh, can't miss it, Scotty, with the lights on, uh, on the church now. You can't miss it with the lights on the church now, says uh, Andy Hughes. Oh, you talk about shots? Aha! Hello, Scotty. Scotty, how's it going, my old mate? Said David Boyce. Remember songs of praise with the Welsh guy? Can't remember his name, can you? Yes, I can. Because people said I was a dead ringer for him. It was Harry Seacombe. Wonderful. He was a tenor. Great tenor, wonderful singer. And he used to sing Cum Ronda and all these things with the big Welsh male voice choirs. And that was Harry Seacombe. And um, Harry was, was one of the goons originally. He was a great comedian. And you'll see him in the musical Oliver as, um, as the Beatle. When Oliver asked for, please, sir, can I have some more? And he's, some more! Mr. Bumble! And he drags the, the wee soul off to see, see Mr. Bumble. <laughs> Harry Seacombe. But he wasn't just songs of praise. Harry Seacombe, I would think he would do a lot of songs of praise, but he did Highway for uh, ITV. And that was produced, I think, a lot by um, Time Tees, by Maxwell Dees at Time Tees. And um, he did a lot of work at Border Television as well. Harry Seacombe, lovely, lovely man. Harry Seacombe... Um, took a stroke and he appeared on a television station and he just made it to the chair with his stick and he went, made it! Somebody said, now you've had a terrible time, he said, because you've had uh, prostate cancer 
And you've had a stroke. He said, well, I think he spoke with the high voice. He said, I think when you've had prostate cancer, the best way to forget that is to have a stroke. And that was him. Wonderful, wonderful guy. So there we are. And he had met up with Spike Milligan during the war. They were both in the army. I think they were based down south. And they lost a big gun, the kind of big gun you tow behind a truck. It had run down a hill and um, seek him. Uh, I think said to Spike Milligan, I can't remember if it was Milligan. One of them said to the other, he looked into the back of the truck, he said, anyone seen a gun? And he immediately went, what colour? <laughs> oh, something like that. Uh, How is it you make midden sound like a compliment to Laura Westwater? I used to call people a midden. Away, a midden, you, you know, and all that stuff. And I remember it once got a complaint that went to London and they couldn't find it. They didn't know what it meant. They said, we thought it meant a Scottish dustbin. So there you go. Scotty, is that the church at Salisbury Spring? It might well be, Kerry Duncan. Yes, it's out on the hills. You can't miss it. You'll be travelling through between Glasgow and Edinburgh or Edinburgh and Glasgow, depending on which direction you're going in. And if you were coming from Edinburgh to Glasgow, to the left of you, right near the big transmitter, you'll see that tiny little old church building. I don't know how old it actually is. I haven't been in it. Bless you. I should go in it. Um, still get shots, Highland Games, says Andy Hughes. What's the topic tonight, says Carol Carlos Donnelly. The topic, we've had several topics tonight, Carol Carlos Donnelly. So there we go. Several topics. Um, what's a pig in a poke? A pig in a poke, Gordon Riley, is something that you would buy that's not good. So you might talk about a car you've bought from somebody you get home and it's overheating. Somebody might say, I think you've bought a pig in a poke there. So there you go. Where it actually comes from, I'm not sure. We have a wonderful guy comes on, and um, David, and he's, he's nautical. And he tells us where a lot of the nautical phrases come from. So there you are. So we've got that, which is fantastic. Evening, Scotty Brawl, says Andy Hughes. Dinky do. Evening, Scotty, says Tony Mack. I'm from Preston, Scotty. I remember you when you were on Red Rose Radio. Carl Carlos Donnelly with a huge, huge audience on Red Rose Radio at nights. And uh, what a fantastic station that was. And that was on the medium wave. That was Red Rose Gold because they'd split in 1990, I think it was. And uh, Red Rose Radio became uh, Red Rose Gold, the medium wave. That was the big one. And uh, Rock FM was, uh, was it 97.4? It was the, um, the FM, obviously, Rock FM. And, uh, and what have you, very, very big, very, very popular, run by a wonderful man called Mike Henfield. And he appointed me to Red Rose Radio. Tremendous, wonderful. Never, ever, ever uh, forget him for it. Lovely, lovely. Uh, still have a thrapney bit now. I've got coins from 1902. Well, I had as well till they get pinched. Uh, Scotty, I'm watching Bullseye right now. I think you should hold a nostalgic Bullseye night in a pub. I'd certainly come along, says Kerry Duncan. Kerry, can I tell you, the late Jim Bowen um, was uh, a great Lancashire man. He worked on Radio Lancashire. And uh, I knew Jim Bowen, and he was at a dinner one night speaking. Fantastic speaker. So there we are. Sadly, no longer with us, but Jim Bowen of Bullseye. So there we are. A new Jim. Tremendous stuff. I remember you and the Clyde Cayley. I'd love to go back to the Cayley, says Tony Mack. It was a great thing, the Clyde Cayley. And I used to prepare it and get all the uh, all the songs ready for it. So that's why we get the CDs. Spreading the love tonight, big man, says Gordon Riley. We are Gordon. It's very important. And you're helping, may I say. I'll just have another large sip. We could use that for a general sip, guys. Actually, we all have a sip. I think that would be tremendous. So, yes, we're spreading the love. Love Nation Radio, says Kerry Duncan. Kerry, you'll never want to go anywhere else. 96.3 Nation Radio. Fantastic music all week, 24-7. You know, brilliant. And then Scotty McClue on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night from 10 o'clock sharp with Scotty McClue's Nightline. Just for you, dinky do. Tune in now, everybody, to 96.3. McClue's no stranger to that one, as you know. Let's have another share, can we? We'll have another share. I think it's only fair. 
It's only fair to another share. Do you like that one? I'm a poet and I didn't know it. There you go. Right, another share going on. I'll share to that lot. If you could all do that as well, guys, that would be tremendous. In fact, I can share to a group here, it says. Um, so I'll just do that. Uh, I'll put again. If you could tap in live now. And guys, stick them the um, URL from the page. Do that as well. I think that's important. Live now. And a big uh, exclamation mark, a exclamation mark, Scotty McClue's group. Now, are you all a member of Scotty McClue fan group for fans, discussion and debate? It's a bit of a mouthful, that, actually. But Scotty McClue fan group for fans, discussion and debate on Facebook. Get yourselves on there as well, guys. It won't do you any harm. I'm just going to have a look down and see what we can be up to here. Um, put that in for that. Wonderful stuff and that. I'm not going to share to too many groups. Um, just a few. I think that's fair enough. And that should be us. Excellent stuff. There we go. Now, I'm very, very busy for uh, friends and things like that, guys. So if you want to... And we'll just share with them as well. And that will, right, that'll do us. That's enough of that. And uh, if you wanted to, that would be tremendous if you can get on to all the Facebook pages for Scotty McClue. All right? And can everybody share, 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 share right now? Fantastic. Uh, what have we got here? No, says Gordon Riley. No, what? What are you saying, no to? That's great, Scotty. A huge compliment asking you to do three nights. Karen Mercury, I was bowled over because you're starting it off. You know what I mean? You think, I don't know what the bosses will think of that. I hope it was all right uh, for a first night. And, of course, everybody piles on. And, uh, and, and the boss phoned and he said, uh, I think you should do three nights. I said, yes, sir. That was it. That was that was all. There wasn't any... I didn't sort of go, oh, how was it? Or any of that paranoid stuff. You just get on with it, you know what I mean? Finally, a fave to you, says Calder Rafik. Calder Rafik, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. It's too early to know if you'll be doing a Hogmanay show on Nation Radio, says George McBean. No, but perhaps you guys could ask Nation Radio. You could maybe email... Uh, Derek McIntyre in the studio and ask him, right? So there you are. Derek McIntyre is the breakfast show jock. Tremendous breakfast show. Very, very well known. Very well known in 96.3. Very well known on your radio. Very well known on L107 in Lanarkshire, which was a fantastic radio station, but obviously had a stewardship problem, you know, sadly. Uh, so all these kind of things. Uh, get a hold of Derek McIntyre, right? A big, big name in radio and a wonderful breakfast show presenter. He's off to Dubai next week because they're giving away a holiday in Dubai. So get yourselves on to Nation Radio. They're giving away a holiday in Dubai. How wonderful is that? But um, guys, if you all email them, lobby Nation Radio, say, can we get Scotty McClue on at Hogmanay? There we are. Are you not on Hallam? Uh, no, I haven't been in Hallam for a while. There's another wonderful radio station, Hallam FM, TFM. So there you are. I meant face, says Calder Rafiq. Lovely. Can I watch this show if I'm trans, says Sammy Thomas. Sammy Thomas, you can watch this show regardless of gender. If you are a member of the human race, you can watch this show. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Stephen P. McCallum, dinky do wink, wink, Scotty, says Kerry Duncan. Martha Judge. Nation Radio is brilliant. Listen to it all the time in the car coming home from Glasgow. Then once we hit Falkirk, the signal goes. Well, we're doing very well. If you can hear Nation Radio in Falkirk, that is excellent. So there you go. Fantastic stuff, Martha Judge. And dinky do to you, I say. Lovely to hear that. You can't say my name, says Kaldar Rafiq. How do I say your name, Kaldar Rafiq? You have to tell me. Send it through to me in phonetics, right? Can you say my name? Scotty McClure. Uh, Shots is beside the heart of Scotland. 
I can see you from my room window in Plains, says Thomas Pidden. Fantastic. Heart Hill, the heart of Scotland. Replying to Thomas Pidden, Sammy Thomas says, don't lie. I don't know what she's talking about there. Have you been to Mary Hill? The Sharon Campbell. I'm a Mary Hill man, Sharon Campbell. Yes, Mary Hill Road, Shakespeare Street, all that stuff. Fantastic. Uh, wh what you, why are you sweating for? Because it's roasting hot in the studio. So there we are. And you don't know where I'm broadcasting. I might be broadcasting from India or Africa or Canada or America or Australia. I suppose in India it'd be cooler at night, though, wouldn't it? So there you go. So sweating for very, very hot. Very hot. Excuse me. We'll sort that. There'll be no sweating. No. There you go. No sweating allowed. I see. I'm not sweating anyway. I'm glowing. Uh, Scotty, what age are you? I reckon you look about 28. I'm actually 34, my dear friend. So there you are. So, but you're very complimentary to me. Thanks, Kerry. That was a lovely, lovely thing to say. But no, 34. You're six years complimentary. Uh, now then, who else have we got? Did they get your accent? Says Carl de Rafik. Everybody gets my accent. Is Nation Radio a digital station, big fella? No, it's an FM station, primarily. 96.3 on the FM. Or www.nationradio.scot. Right? But also DAB as well locally. In central Scotland, so they are in the west of Scotland. DAB, excellent stuff. So there you go. Wish I was 28 again, Kerry. This Andy Hughes, don't we all? Why did you stop radio years ago then? Sharon Campbell, I didn't actually stop radio at all. What you've got to realise, when I finish at one radio station, you can't hear me, but I go and work at another one, maybe down south. So, for instance, I've worked in Aberdeen, I've worked in Edinburgh, I've worked in Glasgow, I've worked in Carlisle, I've worked in Newcastle, I've worked in Leeds, I've worked in um, Teesside, I've worked in Liverpool, I've worked in Preston, I've worked in Manchester, I've worked in London, right? And I've been heard right down the Midlands between London and, uh, and Leeds. So there you are. So Yorkshire twice. Fantastic stuff. And we used to do that. So just because you can't hear me doesn't mean I'm not on the radio. Do you see what I mean? So there you go. Scotty, is that we missus of yours doing the high dusting, says Billy McNaught. Billy McNaught, always the high dusting, because I don't like to do it, in case I get unsteady when I get up there. Whoa! Watch yourself up at that cornice there. <clears throat> Gordon Riley, one story is that a map drawer years ago put a lake on the map, as me had never heard, as he had never heard of a loch, and it was left as a lake. But the other story is it was local from the area that gave up the location of Rob... That would be Rob Roy. I can't click see more because I might lose the broadcast. My weekends are now complete listening to Scotty McLean on the radio at the weekend, says the wonderful Tony Mac. Tony Mac, I thank you. I say to you, thank you. Love the grin, says Anne Logan Kerr. <laughs> right, we need to grin. Love the ties, says Stuart Graham. Labrador, Labrador, yes, the biggest club in the world. Scotty, do you know the story about the well at Salisbury, St. Catherine's Well? Kerry Duncan, I do not, and I would love if you would tell us more about it. So there you are. This is the beauty of a big phone-in program. We can get back to discussing all that. Uh, Scotty, uh, do I pose, says Ashley Alexander. I, I don't know if you pose or not, Ashley Alexander. I hope that you do. Everybody should pose now and again. Ross Sinclair says, brilliant. Absolutely. Enjoy it, Ross. Fantastic. Scotty, do you remember when the telly used to shut down during the night and it played that annoying sound? Derek Miller, I used to close the television down for the night. So there you are. You'll hear me on the internet still doing it. Yes. And we've come to the end of our programs on ITV for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed them. We'll be back on air tomorrow morning at 9.25 with our programmes for schools and colleges. Until then, from all of us here, 
a safe and peaceful good night to you. Good night all and sleep well. Then we played the national anthem and then we put out tone. We said, and finally, don't forget to switch off your television set. Good night. And then we went, Beep! and that was just to let you know that the telly was still live. Yes. Uh, have you heard the hymn as the deer, as the deer pants for the water? Beautiful, beautiful hymn. Yes, Derek Miller. Fantastic. Share, 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 says Andy Hughes. Yes, let's get sharing again, guys. Let's not just do nothing. Fantastic. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Share. Share. Share to a page. Sharing to a page like mad. I'll pop this up on YouTube for you later, guys, and you can go back on. That's another thing I must say to you. Can everybody go and like Nation Radio Scotland's Facebook page? Every single one of you, please do it now. It would be a tremendous help for everybody. And just let them know you're out. Pardon me, that you're out there. That would be terrific. So there you go. Uh, Ronnie Faulkner, the engineer, says Karen Merkin. No, Ronnie Falconer, right, who was the Reverend Ronnie Falconer, who wrote a book called The Kilt Beneath My Cassock. He was a Scottish minister, but I think he'd been uh, brought up in New Zealand, and then he came home, and he was the minister of uh, the big church in Coat Bridge. So there you are. Coat, was it Coat Dyke? Coat Dyke Church and Coat Bridge. Does that ring a bell? So there we are. Anybody know that? That ring a bell with anybody? Love Oliver, says Stuart Graham. Uh, do you remember the old Radio Clyde 261 jingles? Yes. Radio Clyde 261. When they started broadcasting, 10.30, the 31st of December, 73. And the first voice on air was Tony Curry, says Shazzy M. McTeer. Shazzy M. McTeer, I remember it. And um, I still see Tony's name pop up occasionally. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. Yes, that's right. And um, the, the, the manager was Mr. Gordon. Mr. Dixon was the programmer. All that wonderful stuff. So there you are. And Radio Clyde, do you know the biggest brands in Scotland were Radio Clyde, Tunnock Carmel Wavers, Iron Brew, and Scotty McClue. What about that? So there you go. Scotty McClue was as big as Radio Clyde. Isn't that tremendous? And look at that. There we are. Do you remember Ricky Fulton, the comedy minister with his wee glass of whiskey? And, uh, <laughs> it's half a good water. That's right. And he used to do a takeoff of Lake Colony. He did it so brilliantly. He was a lovely man, Ricky Fulton. I knew him. And his wife, Kate, she was a super lady as well. There, She was a, um, a Scottish television announcer, Kate Matheson. There you are. Kate Matheson and uh, Ricky Fulton. She wrote a book, Ricky and Me. They were lovely, lovely people. I didn't manage to get to talk to them a lot, but they used to write to me at uh, Scott FM and Jack Mulroy, of course, and they were big Scotty McClue fans. I loved that. It was it was very touching. Uh, so there, so I don't just remember Ricky Fulton. I remember him with great affection and also his wonderful work. Uh, do you remember Scotch and Rye at Hogmanay? There we are, tremendous. Hello, mate. How are you? Says Kevin Wiggum. I am dinky do, Kevin. Hello from Melbourne, Scotty, says George Hughes, out in Melbourne in Australia. I would love to go and visit Melbourne. Do you know one of the things that I think, and we're probably all like this, but you wish you had nine lives to go and do all things. That's why I have no time for people who moan and whinge and are negative about life. You know what I mean? Because we could do with nine lives. It would be lovely for me to go out and visit Melbourne, maybe broadcast from Melbourne, you know, maybe live in Australia for a bit and do a bit of the Crocodile Dundee, see who's about. Just see who's around. Yeah, Mick Dundee, fantastic stuff. Scotty, where the hell have you been? 
Good to hear ya, says George McBride. George McBride, dinky do. It's lovely. I haven't been the hell anywhere. Hell yeah. But um, it's lovely to be back with everybody. I can say, and come and join us on Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3. Or you can get us on www.nationradio.scot. Or guys, download Radio Player. And this is very important, right? Download the Radio Player app and put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland, right? So download Radio Player app from your app store, put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland. That'll pop up under the Scotland gate and you can just go and have Nation Radio on your phone anytime. Then you'll get the phone in. So if you're out clubbing, you can get McClue on your phone. Just press it and go, here's McClue on now. And you can phone me. So there you are. Fantastic. So I've been everywhere and all around George McBride. Fantastic. Hi, Mucker. Worked together at QFM, says Andrew Stone. We did. Happy days. How's your four-legged friend? Andrew He's fantastic. So there you go. Old Lord Reith died. And Lord Clyde arrived. So there you go. Fantastic. But yes, wonderful. Used to pop in to QFM. Tremendous. And thank you for all your work, Andrew. Terrific. Dermot Scotty McVicker is watching. A very, very fine man living out in Vancouver there. And um, he's off great stock. Wonderful, wonderful family, I have to say. There you are. Dinky do, Dermot Scotty McVicker. Lovely to know that you're there. Hello, says Ian Judge. Hello, Ian Judge. Ho, oh, Richard from Wigan, says Richard Fowler. Dinky do, Richard. Lovely to have you from Wigan. Tremendous. Everybody's out and about tonight, guys. Thanks for sharing the story on Jim Bowen, Scotty. Says Kerry Duncan. Mwah. Absolutely no problem, Kerry. Hello, mate. How are you? Says Kevin Wigan. Brilliant, Kevin. Absolutely used to broadcast to Wigan. Not changed the station in the car since you joined. This is Kerry Duncan. How fantastic. You won't want to Kerry because the music is absolutely outstanding. The presenters are lovely. And uh, as I say, on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp on 96.3 on the FM in Central Scotland, you get Scotty McClue's Nightline. We've only started it, so, you know, it'll build up. Mrs. Max Hutter back. Not guilty. Any tips for her to help her with her back, please? Yes. If she lies straight flat... And she very carefully raises her knees so they're all in line and puts her feet flat on the bed or the floor, wherever she's lying. She will get some relief on her back, I am pretty sure. So there you are. You'll have to help her because back pain is a nightmare. You have any change from years ago, says Sharon Campbell? I would hope not, Sharon. So there you are. I sincerely hope not. Tony Mack, infrared light therapy, says Kerry Duncan. Ah, yeah, but that's a bit specialist, Kerry. Don't get him on to that yet. Uh, you made me smash my radio up years ago. You're different now. What's up, says Shannon Campbell? Not different at all. The same man. So there you are. It's, it's a time I was away, guys. Rinye, says Jim McGarvey. Rinye, aye, Rinye. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, etc. Says Andrew Stone, the man with the bonnet done it. Says Colin Dykes, Daniel Heathcote. Are you not on Hallam FM anymore? No, I'm on Nation Radio, 96.3 FM. So there you are. Get it on your iPlayer. Scotty, my man says, how about creating a signature Scotty McClue bonnet? It will be snapped up by the masses. I might well do that, Kerry. So there we are. It would be wonderful. Everybody should be wearing a bonnet. All the youngsters should wear a bonnet, you know. Uh, top man, Scotty, where have you been hiding? Colin Dykes, I have been all over the universe. Lovely, lovely to be back with you all, of course. Ian Judge, Martha and myself live in Grangemouth. So we'll get you on the net, Scotty. Or you might get us on 96.3. It's worth a try, Ian Judge. Put it on now. See if you can get it, 96.3. Try it right now, Nation Radio. Been years since I've heard you, young man. Moss Park, Mary Hamilton. I know Moss Park, the Moss Heights, Balgoni Road. So there you are. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Corker Hill. <laughs> the Moss Park. 
Wonderful, wonderful. The uh, the halfway, the boulevard, um, what else did we have? It was the halfway, was it not, that you turned off? Was that not called the halfway? Uh, Scotty, does someone not steal the antenna when in the Lanarkshire radio? Uh, uh, somebody did take the antenna, but they brought it back pretty quickly, um, I can tell you. So there we are. Yes, indeed. Another great pop-up, Scotty. Unfortunately, my bed's shouting on me. Catch you Friday night. Night all. Says Karen Mercury. Mwah. Sleep well, Angel. Have a lovely night. I'm just about to push off and give everybody a break. Uh, please mention the drop bombs in the dropped bottoms in Barnsley. So Daniel, the drop bottoms in Barnsley. Yes, the girls in Barnsley, their bottom was lower than the national average, I always said. Ashley Alexander Law, did you like my radio profile present a picture for the radio station that I'm involved in? I always have the perfect face for radio. Don't say that about yourself, Tony Mack. You're a great man. We tune here. I'm gonna have a great uh, I'm going to have a great night-night. Night-night, June, darling. Sleep well. That's it. I'm going to push off. So there we go. Geraldine, mind him, says Sharon Campbell. Drop bottom, says Daniel Heathcote. Raymond Benz is watching. I'm going to push off, guys. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. Stephen Hege has just joined us. Guys, lovely, lovely, lovely talking to you tonight. Thank you for a fabulous Wednesday evening pop-up. What a hoot. And what a laugh. Join me live on Nation Radio, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, 10 p.m. through until midnight. The telephone number 0141 811 0475. Fast becoming the best known telephone number in Scotland. And phone me, right? Don't do any, oh, maybe I shouldn't. And just phone. All right, my darlings. Lovely to see you. We'll catch up soon. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheery Oh, Good night, my darlings. Dinky do. Sleep well. <laughs>